In this video, we are going to talk about the HIV virus life cycle, a life cycle of HIV human immunodeficiency virus. So let's start to talk about it. The human immunodeficiency virus HIV is, uh, causes AIDS. The replicative cycle of this virus begins when the HIV attaches to the host cell. The primary receptor for HIV is a surface protein called CD4 that is found on the subset of T cells in the human immune system. The binding to the CD4 involves part of virus's enveloped protein called SU. For surface protein, which SU binds to the CD4, it shifts its conformation, allowing the binding of a secondary receptor called CCR for chemokine receptor. The binding triggers the transmembrane component TM of the viral enveloped protein to unfold and push its tip, a fusion peptide, into the host membrane. After the insertion of the fusion peptide, the viral envelope fuses with the plasma membrane and releases the viral core into the cytoplasm. In the core are twin RNA genomes and associated viral enzymes, including two copies of reverse transcriptase. Reverse transcriptase has the unusual activity to copy RNA into DNA, a reversal in the order of normal flow of genetic information. This reversal gives retrovirus their name. A host cell's tRNA, also packaged in the virus, produced, uh, provides a 3' hydroxyl group necessary to prime uh, polymerization. Reverse transcriptase uses the viral RNA genome as a template to create a DNA copy. While building the DNA strand, reverse transcriptase degrades the RNA. The single-stranded DNA is used as a template to make a second DNA strand. The major anti-AIDS drug AZT or AZT targets the function of reverse transcriptase enzyme. With the help of viral accessory proteins, the double-stranded DNA enters the nucleus through a nuclear pore. A viral enzyme integrates the HIV DNA at a random position in a host chromosome. The integrated DNA is called provirus. HIV can hide in the host cell as a provirus for many years with only a gradual production of virions. For this reason, HIV and a group of other retroviruses classified as lentiviruses, which means slow viruses. The integration event is required for the HIV DNA to be replicated along with the host genome when the cell divides. It is also required for the production of new virions, which begins when RNA polymerase 2 from the host cell transcribes the integrated viral DNA. Just like the host cell mRNAs, the HIV RNA acquires a 5' capping and a 3' polyadenylation tail. A diversity of the full length and spliced RNA are produced. Some full length RNAs will become the RNA genome of new virions. The other RNA will also leave the nucleus for cytoplasm, where they will be used for the translation of viral proteins. The differentially spliced RNAs allow from the translation of multiple reading frames such that all the structural proteins, enzymes, enveloped proteins and accessory proteins can be produced as a result of this process. The viral envelope proteins are made on ribosomes that dock on the endoplasmic reticulum. The new proteins thread through the membrane into the lumen. Transport vesicles bring these proteins to the Golgi apparatus for glycosylation and packaging before they are exported to the cell membrane. When ribosome translate the full length viral RNA molecules, the predominant protein made is called GAG. The ribosome encounters stop codon at the end of the GAG coding region. Termination of the translation is done. Ribosomes produce many copies of GAG proteins in this order. Occasionally, however, a frame shift event occurs when the ribosome to begin reading the mRNA in a different reading frame, bypassing the stop codon and producing a larger protein called GAGPOL. In this way, the cell produces many GAG proteins and a few GAGPOL proteins.
The gag and gag pol proteins are known as polyproteins because later each will be cleaved to yield a number of distinct proteins. The gag consists of core structure proteins which are needed in abundance for the production of new virions. Where the gag pol contains a core protein plus enzymes, reverse transcriptase, integrase and protease. The polyproteins along with other viral proteins, twin RNA molecules and envelope proteins come together at the plasma membrane where a viral particle begins to bud off. At this stage, the protease which is a part of the gag pol polyprotein cut itself out of the polyprotein. The protease also cleaves the polyprotein at either sides to release the core proteins and enzymes. The protease activity is required to regenerate ineffective virions with a conical core structure. The HIV protease is an important drug target for anti-HIV drug also known as protease inhibitors. An infected cell can release a large number of new virions. HIV contributes to the development and depletion of the CD4 plus T cells by variety of mechanisms including triggering infected cells to commit suicide, a phenomenon called apoptosis. An infected cell can also disable an infected CD uh, plus 4 plus cells. The infected cells have viral envelope proteins on its cell surface. When the envelope proteins bind to the receptor of uninfected cell, the cell may fuse together to create a multinucleate cell called a syncytium. Through the cell fusion, several CD4 plus T cells are disabled after the infection of just one cell. Research shows that HIV uses a number of strategies of killing infected and uninfected CD4 plus T cells. That concludes our understanding of HIV life cycle and how exactly HIV introduces itself to the host cell and how exactly it captures and kills and desensitizes the CD4 plus T cells.